Hello everybody and welcome back to Surviving Mars. I'm sorry if the first part of that was cut off. OBS for me is lagging a ton and it's being pretty weird and I think it's capturing everything and but yeah. So sorry if that's what's happening but in today's episode we are going to be actually setting up our colony because we didn't really do an actual setup in the last um, episode. So harvest concrete from deposits, gather resource from service deposits and Scanned. So that's interesting. Man, that thing is slow. Let's speed that up a bit, hey? Um, I guess we'll go ahead and build a drone hub. Just... I guess right there is as good a place as any. Well, I immediately changed my mind on where I think that should be built. However, that'll that'll do for now. My goodness, I hate being this close to the ground. Well, I guess we'll start building the power area right over here. No better place like right here, right now. Why is that not working? Okay, it is connected. Never mind. It's okay. It is working. I was just wrong. Guess nothing new there. Well, next up, we, of course, have to get a concrete extractor for right here. Go ahead and build a power connector to that, that bad boy. And what's next? What's next? Wow, 30 workers can be in that thing? That's pretty crazy. Um, domes. We have our basic dome. Sector so scale. you have very high, you have average. Both those are good. You have low, but that's fine. You, you have very low water, but you still have water, which is important. I think a n nice cluster of domes over here would honestly be great. You know, like one right there, one right here, one right there. So yeah, maybe like three domes in this area. Build one right there. And we'll do another one really close to it. As a matter of fact, literally directly next to it, but we need a bunch of concrete metals and polymers for that. Um, so we're not going to worry about that one too much. We're going to lower their priority on that. Because we honestly don't really need it. One of our scientists has just reanalyzed the scan data and found traces of resource deposits that you didn't know existed. The data seems correct, but our equipment was calibrated to detect the sites. You congratulate your colleague for the discovery and decide on a further course of action. Several new deposits near the colony. Correct the search patterns, gains discount for the deep scanning technology, reveals deep water extraction and deep metal extraction tech. Additional resource and all the new deposits. You know what we'll do? Improve the drilling technology because that one is actually something that I'd really like. Is this one that is not in range for the research building? But maybe if we were to do another dome right there. Resources are low. So we'll have water and several metals. Can you even build a metal extractor right there? No, blocking objects. So we actually, I'm glad that wasn't built yet because we have to move it a little bit. So let's still put it close, of course. Still want it to be real close. Maybe we can get a tri-cluster. Oh yeah. 
Look at that nice little cluster of domes. Have it connected right there, right there, and right there. Beautiful. Honestly, beautiful. Now, I know this is all getting started like really early. But we want to go ahead and be prepared for everything. Which is exactly what we're doing. So, yeah. That's why all this is going on already. Okay, so that's going nicely. We do need to have a little dumping site right there as well as a uh, concrete depot. I just realized we do actually need a fuel refinery to get this rocket off of here. But we do have one, which is enough for us. We have our couple of moisture evaporators, and we are going to go ahead and put them over here. I know that seems far away, but I'm trying to keep doing these things separate. I can speak. We'll have our storage sit right over here. Go ahead and build some pipes. Okay, very nice. Get our cables running to over here. There we go. And we can go ahead and put our second drone hub right there. Seems like a weird place. I'm planning very far ahead. We do need to get some drone commanders from uh, another rocket to bring us some stuff and uh, of course command some areas. However, we will worry about that shortly. And by shortly, I mean in a little while. Probably not anytime super soon. Go ahead and scan that, I guess. Ooh, that's cool. We are losing one oxygen. I'm going to get a good um, supply of oxygen and um, water built up before we um, get colonists down here. Just so we're a bit more prepared. I always like to be prepared. We're going to put oxygen storage right over here. So we'll do those pipes. We'll put those right there and it's connected to that and it's connected to that and that can be connected to this over there. So there's that set up. And you need electricity. So there's that. We are making electricity, which means we want to get some accumulators over here. We're going to set those in the back a little bit. Just so there's room for future things. Yeah, no, we do need power cables. Going to connect those like that. There we go. So let's make a list of what we need. Polymers. Actually, that one's good on polymers. You have no polymers. So we need polymers. We have access to concrete and metal. We need another drone commander. Or a drone commander, because I don't actually think we have one right now. 
So we need a drone commander. We need maybe 10 polymers, 10 machine parts. 10, polymer, 10 polymers, 10 machine parts. A drone commander. So let's see how far that gets us on our capacity. Okay, that's only 18,000 out of 50,000 kilos. Well, let's look at this. We do the machine parts, the polymers like we want. We, of course, pick up an RC commander. So we pick up one RC transport. We have our drone hub, we have our fuel refinery. We need like a bunch more of those. So I don't think we can build them. Polymer factory would be good. But we don't we don't need that right now, so let's not bring that right now. Sterling generator, which we don't actually rate need right now, but we do need moisture vaporator, so we're gonna Bring moisture vaporators, RC commander, RC transport, and some resources. So let's launch that. It'll come right to us. Which, which reminds me that I do need to put fuel down over here. So, holy Jesus. I'm not sure exactly where I should put this because I want to organize everything very carefully. So I'm just going to put that right there, and we can always destroy it if we need to. It sounds bad, but honestly, it happens. Sometimes. Please, no little drones. No drone, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Every, no, 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 don't move into the land zone. You're going to get fried. You're going to get your circuits fried. And a few of them didn't make it. Oh, well. Come on, guys. Alright, well, there's our drone commander. And hey, that one's getting Sector built. Scanned. Jesus Christ. These things are getting absolutely wrecked. We are losing an oxygen, of course, because this isn't hooked up right now. Now we're losing water, but if you remember back, I actually got us some more moisture vaporators. And these aren't as effective whenever more vaporators are nearby. But we just need water right now since we aren't mining any of our own. We're gonna do that. Okay, well things are getting built. Things, uh, I mean everything's coming along well. More polymer, more metal, more concrete, more of everything we don't have, of course. Well. I mean, so far everything's actually going really well. You, you are slam full of metal. Come over here. Okay. Research complete. What are you doing now? Drones and rovers moves 24% faster? Sure. We'll do that. We do need to get advanced on the robotics tree so we can get, um... Shuttles, which we need. Of course we need shovels. Shovels are a big thing. How is our storage looking? Are you full? No, you're Sector idle, because we're not making any water, but we're also not losing it. It's uneven terrain, so it won't work. Okay, well, we'll put the next vaporator over there, because might as well. 
I guess that's my reason for a lot of things, because might as well. You are getting all your metal taken, and hopefully some of it's being brought over here. Yes, it is. Excellent. Do you have any fuel? Yeah, you do have some fuel. It's not going great as far as production is concerned. Ah, uh, no resources. Oh well. Can't say I expected much different. So, this is all getting set up really nicely. Let's make another shopping list. We need probably, I'd say, 10 more polymer, 10 more machine parts. Actually, we do have several machine parts. Sector scanned. Let's make a universal depot right over here. This is making concrete, which is actually really good. So we don't have to worry about getting all our concrete from one area. Let's go ahead and put down a concrete depot right here. Sector scanned. And I want you to unload your metal over here. Unload resources right there. Anomaly found. I'm actually going to prioritize this rocket more over this one. We are going to be losing money unless we build over there fairly soon because we need to export rare metals. Polymers. We just need polymers. On the next rocket, we need to bring a polymer factory, I think is what it's called. What else do we need to bring? More stuff for power, which we can build more power related things actually. It's either large solar panels or wind turbines. Resources are low. Have more concrete. Machine parts are, I guess you might say a little bit of a concern, but I'm not actually too worried about it as of right now. So, let's build some wind turbines, eh? I just really hope some resources get over here. As far as machine parts go, because I don't know... All the machine parts are over here. RC transport, I need you to load the machine parts, actually. Not all of them, though. Just some. Got me, like... Yeah, that'll do. And bring them over here. Low storage of energy. Well, we have 212 left at least, so we have some to rely on. Aw. You got destroyed. Well, scrap you. I think in the next episode, we're going to start setting up these domes for humans, and then maybe in the next episode after that, we can actually get humans. That would be really cool. There we go. Now those turbines are built and we're making energy. So that's great. But anyway, I think we are going to end off this episode here. So I thank you very, very much for watching. And if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. Anomaly. Bye. Oh, Anomaly. Well, we'll look into that in the next one. See you later. Bye.